everyone, it's your old pal Derek from Classic Game Room. Look, and before you, you give me any of your crap, please know that I don't want to hear it, alright? Do I know that this is the second Q&A we've done this week? Yes, yes I do. I'm not an idiot, I know that. But I would also like to point out that this is only the second one we've done this week. The math checks out. After I finished the first Q&A, the questions kept coming in, and that's because you guys didn't know that the first video was over and that it was done. And that's because this isn't happening live. These are recorded and edited and then uploaded ahead of time in advance. This is not happening in real time. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but guess what? The Tooth Fairy's not real either. She's just a homeless little tramp with a mini skirt who walks around and breaks into people's homes and steals their teeth. And she does so because her teeth are rotten, and she needs new teeth because of all the Pez that she eats, and she's also a meth addict. Our first question today comes from our pal Brooks. He wants to know, Derek, if you were stuck on a deserted island and could bring three albums and three games, what would they be? Well, Brooks, I'm going to answer that question by completely negating its premise, because here's the thing. I'm very old school in that I actually buy my crap. I go to the record store, and I buy all my music on these things called CDs. But... What I do with those CDs when I get home is I put them onto my laptop. And then I take that music from my laptop and I put it on my phone. And that's where I listen to most of my music. The CD I buy to have in the library as the backup, as the collector's item. You know, it's there for the future. So I'm not taking three albums and I'm not taking three video games either. I would take my phone, which spares up mathematically five things that I could take on this island. The other five things would be a gun, a knife, a, a lighter, a, a, a butane, I would take fire, I would, the, the fourth thing I would take would be my phone charger, and then the, I would also take... Our next question comes from our pal Dave, Dave Kavark. He wants to know what my favorite Tex Avery cartoon is. That's a very difficult question. Off the top of my head, it's probably Porky's Duck Hunt um, and probably Red Hot Riding Hood. Yeah, actually, if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Red Hot Riding Hood. But yeah, kind of boring and predictable answers, but such great cartoons. Red Hot Riding Hood in particular is just great. If you had to hold a gun to my head, those are the two I'd say. Although you can't do that any You can't hold a gun to your head anymore in cartoons because in 2015, the PC Brigade would write a letter about it. You know, I don't want to get mad about this and I, don't, I really don't want to spend the whole video ranting, but what I want to know is, was there in the 1940s this sudden, this sudden explosion in cases of children watching Looney Tunes shorts and then taking a shotgun to their pet duck? Is that, did that happen? Was there a sudden influx? of children into the hospitals who were, you know, dropping anvils on each other's heads. Did that happen in the 1940s? Or did I miss it because I wasn't born yet? You tell me, America. Can't have guns and cartoons. Can't show Looney Tunes on TV anymore. We're creating a generation of sissies, and quite frankly, I'm tired of it. If any of you are sissies watching this video, please go away. I don't want you on this channel anymore. There's a, this is a no sissy zone. I don't want I don't want to, I don't want to be in, you can't be on this, I don't want to be in the presence of you and your company anymore. Go away. Cameron Benson wants to know what I think about the Nintendo's NX. What do, what do I think about it? What are my expectations? How, how can you have expectations for a Nintendo console anymore? Their last two have just been baffling. I, you know, one was successfully baffling, one was not successfully baffling, but both baffling. You know, everything I've heard about the, the NX just sounds like a weird, it's just another weird baffling idea. And I don't know, you know, I don't think that it's the right thing for Nintendo to do to make something conventional. I don't think they should take the route of the competition. Because I, th personally, I think we've seen what happens when Nintendo tries to be like the competition. You know, the GameCube was very similar to the, to the competition, and it failed. So I don't think Nintendo, I don't think the market's big enough for three consoles that are largely the same. So I don't think Nintendo should take that route. But I also don't think they should do something so bizarre that people don't know what to make of it. I don't think people knew what to make of the Wii U. Nintendo needs to be simple and accessible, but they also need to be different. It's a very weird corner they've painted themselves in, and I don't know how they get, I don't know... 
I don't know. I don't know what they do next. And and that's a, but that's I think the fun thing about Nintendo is I don't know what to expect. Our next question comes from Retro Excellence. What product do you use to keep your hair so luscious and full? Well, that's a great question. And the answer is I use, I'm a, I'm a proud Garnier Fructis man. Boy, I tell you what, Garnier, if you want your sales to go up, you call me immediately. And we'll strike a deal and let me tell you that I don't come cheap. But with that, with that initial investment, you'll, re, you'll earn dollars upon dollars based on each dollar you've invested in me. I'm not a business person. I am just, I, I rip people off. All right, that's it. That's enough of this crap. I mean, I have some more questions, but some of them are just you guys being smart asses, and I don't have time for that. I don't have patience for it. Also, my voice is starting to go, which you guys have no idea. You guys, people think this is easy. You think it's easy to sit here all day screaming and yelling with the kind of voice that I have? It's not easy, let me tell you. Some days I go home and it feels like I've been gargling thumbtacks all day. And those are the day, and that's even on the days when I don't gargle thumbtacks. Some days I do it because I hate myself and my life. So that's our Q&A. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for the Pez. Hey, there's a q and I'm gonna ask myself. Derek, what's your favorite kind of Pez? I don't know, Derek. How about all the Pez? You freaking idiot! All Pez is wonderful. Let's not break, let's not build walls in the world of Pez. It's a one world where there are no walls. Let's keep Pez, the world of Pez, wall free. Pez is a utopian society where all Pez is born and created equal. There's no societal ladder. In, in the world of Pez, we've reached a society where there are no classes. Everyone works together. Everyone has the public interest in mind. No one's selfish. The strawberry Pez does not take from the orange Pez because it doesn't need to. No one cares about the grape Pez though. He lives in the streets and begs for money from the Pez that people do like. No society is perfect. We'll talk more later. I've got all kinds of videos coming up. Just stay tuned. I'm not the, what do I look like? The TV Guide channel? That doesn't exist anymore. And out in the world of DVRs. Well, you want to know what's on CGR on our Joe next? Why don't you DVR it? I'm not going to tell you. It's not how this works, all right? That's not part of the plan. Besides, do I look like the kind of guy with a plan? I just do things. <laughs>